that time of day. Beautiful morning. Loving the beautiful morning. Man, y'all don't understand. So come on in here, folks. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's go. Let's go. Hope you guys are doing great this morning. I'm going to say good morning to you. Keisha Bullock, good morning. Miguel Ray, good morning. Be ready to get this thing fired up. Tina Weatherall, good morning. Good morning. How are you, Keisha Bullock? Thank you for stopping through. Diane Rosier, my sister in law, just walked through in the building. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Top of the morning to y'all, man. Y'all looking good out there. That's good, that's good, that's good. What's up, Yolanda Yo Yo Butler? My fellow tech I what it do? Y'all ready to get this thing on a roll? We getting ready to fire this thing up, folks. Here we go. If it's going to be, it's up to me to fulfill my dreams and possibilities with dedication and motivation to inspire thousands from all nations. When times are tough and breaks you down, just smile with toughness in your mouth. During tough times, adversity is a lot. Just remember, time flies, but you are the pilot. Good to see Brother Johnny Numbers. Also good to see Rachel Curtis, as known as Ray Ray. Cozy Cloud in the building. Good to see you, Cozy Cloud. Folks, my topic of discussion, before we get to the topic, I want you to do me a couple of favors. First, visit WAN Global LLC Facebook page and click like on that page because we're getting ready to launch the Wealth Summit Tours and we could be coming into your city. So make sure you like that page so you get all the information, okay? We got some content coming up for that. Also, like my other business page, J. Lee Speaks because guess what's coming from that page tonight at 9 o'clock p.m. is our Monday Motivational Power Talk that's going to be aired podcast live on Facebook from that business page from the J. Lee Speaks business page so make sure you like that page and click like on it so that you get notifications when we go live tonight for our Monday Motivational Power Talk also visit the website J. Lee Speaks Calm. Tamika Hampton, good morning. Woo Make sure you visit jleespeaks.com and subscribe to our emails. We got information coming at you, folks. Got some good stuff coming at you, so make sure you subscribe to that. All right, now let's get into the topic. The topic this morning is. If you say you can, you will. If you say you can't, you won't. Good to see you, Sad. I just happened to think of that because I thought of Henry Ford, the founders of the founder of, Mo, of uh, Ford Motor Company, Henry Ford. He said, "If you say you can, or you can't do a thing, then you're probably right." And that is 100% on point. And I'm telling you, if you say you can, you will. If you say you can't, you won't. See, folks, people, everything starts from your mind. Your mindset creates your paradigm, and your paradigm runs your life. When you say that you can do something, the universe will show you paths as long as you have a commitment to doing it. It will show you paths to going where you need to go in order for you to reach your goals, dreams, and aspirations, people. 
That's what the universe does. That's na that's the nature of the universe. Our minds, our vibrations, is all part of the creation of the universe. So what we vibrate, our thoughts, when we vibrate, it creates a vibration into an atmosphere and it attracts like energy. You see? So in other words, what we're seeking in life is also seeking us. But we have to provide the commitment to doing the thing so that what we are seeking was is, that is also seeking us can also can eventually match, meet, connect. But most people don't know that, folks. Here's the alternative. If you say that you can't or you or you don't want to or you don't want a commitment, you can't do something. You will also see ways as the universe which also show you many different ways that you can't do it or many different ways to show you why you won't do it. Anissa Barnwell, good morning. Delaney Banks, good morning. I'm gonna give you an example. I was listening to a guy last night named James and he mentioned something that that stuck in my head before I've heard him mention it. <laughs> and he pretty much confirmed some thoughts I had for many months, right? Let me share what he said. He said, if you believe that you can't go to the gym or you won't go to the gym or you have a problem with going to the gym, then you will find ways as to why you should not go to the gym. And this is the example he gave. You will find stuff, articles, you will find Google articles, on, articles on Google that will say, working out makes you fat. <laughs> working out makes you fat. See, when you have bad energy towards doing something that is good for you, then you will have a lot of reasons as to why you should continue to do what's not good for you. See, in your mind, in everybody's mind, everybody is right. In everybody's mind, everybody is right. There's a whole lot of right broke people out here. There's a whole lot of right poor people out here. And I was listening to a gentleman by the name of Nito Cobain. Nito Cobain is the president of High Point University. He is also the mentor of my mentor, Dr. Willie Jolly. Nito Cobain said, if you want to be rich, then find out what poor people do and don't do it. Do the exact opposite. See, everybody wants to be right, but nobody wants to, nobody wants to humble themselves, nobody wants to learn. I don't wanna be right. I want to be like a sponge and absorb all the information that I can to help me get to where I want to go. So when people are saying, Jay, man, how did you do this? How was you? You was homeless three years ago. Now you just about one to five sponsors shy of launching a multi-million dollar company. How did you do that? What's up, brother Doc? Good to see you, fam. And I tell them, in order for me to have the success that I have and the success that I'm on the spurge of getting, on the cusp of getting, I had to be wrong. 
you got to be wrong, folks. I know a whole lot of right people with a $200 net worth. See? You got to be wrong. I'm not, I'm not making wrong right or making right wrong. I'm simply talking about a mindset. Because guess what, folks? If you are a pillar in your community, a pillar in your family, you help your family get to places nobody else can take their families to. When you have five generations after you, right? Five generations after you don't have to want for nothing then who's right and who's wrong see it's not about what's right see I mean it's not about who's right and that's what people get confused they want to be right but listen folks write this down put this in the comments if you can it's not about who's right it's about what's right it's not about who's right it's about what's right so what's right? Because your energy would take you anywhere your vibration lead it to go. As one of my mentors, James Off the Ray, he perfectly said it. Energy flows where attention goes. Energy flows where attention goes. So put that in the comments, folks. It's not about who's right. It's about what's right. So what is the right thing? What is the right thing? The right thing is to not to tell yourself, not to put limitations on yourself. That's the right thing. Never put limitations. The only limitations in life are the ones we put on ourselves. So don't put limitations in, on yourself. That's what's right, folks. See, when you say you can't do something, guess what? You won't do it. Those of you who live in the DMV would know what hand dancing is. And give you a perfect, this is a perfect example. I'm a great hand dancer. Actually, I used to teach hand dancing. I've actually went into competitions and actually won hand dancing. I've won a trophy in hand dancing. But let me share this with you. There's a particular style of swing dance called stepping originated in Chicago Chicago stepping I've seen a whole lot of people hand dancers a lot of hand dancers cross over to the stepping um, arena I didn't do it and the reason why I didn't do it I didn't go over to the stepping arena Chicago stepping because I literally hate the dance I can't stand the dance I can't stand that the guys look like George Jefferson when they dancing. I hate that. I just it's just not attractive to me. So guess what? Because I don't like the dance, and I said I, that's something I couldn't put myself through learning. So therefore, everything I find about stepping is going to be more reason for me not to like stepping. That's a prime example. I don't like the fact that they look like, have you guys seen the baseball games where they have the little hot dog race around the baseball field and their body, their bodies are long, they, they got a long body and their bodies are staying still. The only thing that's moving is their legs as they running around the baseball field. Some of them are shaped like hot dogs. Have you, have you guys seen that race before in baseball games? To me, that's what stepping looks like. You don't have no upper body movement. Only thing that's moving is your legs. To me, that's that's to me that's a horrible posture. So, I'm not knocking the dance. I'm just saying for me, I don't like it. And because I don't like it, because I said that's something that I wouldn't be interested in learning. Therefore, 
a lot of things came to me about the dance that I know that, that I would not like that would keep me from not keep me from liking the dance so if you say that you can't do something the universe will show you a lot of reasons not to do it just like I told you about this guy named James his name is James Adlam he said if you don't like to go to the gym you'll probably find an article that says working out makes you fat <laughs> see you'll find all the reasons as to why you shouldn't go to the gym or why you shouldn't work out that's how the universe works so therefore if you say you can you will if you say you can't you won't I'm not gonna be learning, learning Chicago stepping there's a Chicago stepping class right down here in St. Pete who God keep asking me to come to the class and I won't go I don't like to dance I don't like that dance. I'm a hand dancer I love to hand dance I can do West Coast, but you won't catch me doing Chicago stepping. It's just an unattractive dance to me. So and those of you, don't take it the wrong way because I said that, but that's how it is to me. Hand dancing might not be attractive to somebody else who do Chicago stepping, and that's fine. That, that just makes us different, that's all. So listen, <clears throat> if you say you want to be wealthy, rich, you want financial freedom, you got to pay close attention because the universe will show you a lot of different reasons and ways for you to become financially independent or financial freedom. But if you have the mindset of, I don't want to be rich, I just want to be comfortable, guess what? All the reasons are going to come to you. All of the visions are going to come to you of just being comfortable. If you say things like, money don't make you happy, or you can't take it all with you when you die, guess what's going to happen, folks? The universe will show you a whole lot of reasons and a whole lot of ways to stay poor. It will. Because that's the paradigm you allowed your mind to create. Y'all ready to delete me yet? <laughs> Anne Marie Duncan, Trayon Brown, Veronica King, hey. But you guys understand what I'm saying? So it's not about who's right, it's about what's right. And what's right is to ne not to put limitations on yourself. But guess what? If you put limitations on yourself, that could be right too. In your mind, if you think the, if you're thinking that you're you're right, right? So it all depends where you want to take your life, where you want to take your business, your family. Or which, what type of contributions you want to make into your, into your community. It was Horace Mann who said, a man should be ashamed to die until he has given some major contribution to humanity. So, if you say you can, you will. If you say you can't, you won't. But whatever choice, whichever choice you make, the universe will show a whole lot of different reasons and pathways to keep you in the direction that you're going. If you say that you Let's say, if, if you say that, you don't want to learn technology, because guess what? Everybody and their grandmother is going to have to learn technology, but maybe not the grandmother, but they are, because of the future. 
If you say you, you don't want to know about technology, you don't want to learn technology, learn how to use technology, guess what happens, people? The universe will give you a lot of reasons why you should not learn technology. You're going to find articles that tell you bad things about learning technology. <laughs> you, guys, you guys understand what I'm saying? Now, the reality of that is everybody else is learning technology and they're going to take the jobs that you apply for. They're going to operate a business that's going to knock your business out of, the, out, of, out of business, knock you out of business, right? Because you found so many reasons not to like or learn technology. You're going to find some articles on Google that tell you Running technology is the devil. <laughs> or something. You, you see what I'm saying? Or learning technology is going to make you slave to technology. See, you're going to find articles like that. You're going to go to some church and some pastor is going to be in there hooping and hollering in, in the pulpit. Knocking technology. See, you're going to start to create a paradigm because everything you're starting to hear now is going to be against technology. Your pastor going to tell you, you don't need technology, you need Jesus. These George, good morning. Just came in the building. But you guys understand what I'm saying? Everything you will begin to hear will be a knock on technology. Because the universe is going to put you in that pool. That pool of negative technology, giving you guys a metaphor, an example here. <clears throat> if you say you need to learn technology, you want to learn technology, you, you got to learn technology, you want to enhance your business and your life, and you need to learn technology to do that, guess what's going to happen? You're going to find a lot of articles on why you need to enhance your life with technology. You're gonna find a lot of a lot of you might you might go to church and your pastor might tell you this church is getting the upgrade because we're utilizing technology. <laughs> you guys understand what I'm saying? So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope this I hope that sticks. If this doesn't stick too well, inbox me. Because what I just shared with you was is 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 kind of like metaphysics without going deep into metaphysics. So that's all I'm going to have for you guys for this morning. I hope to see you guys tonight on the Monday Motivational Power Talk at 9 p.m. sharp from my business page, J. Lee Speaks. Okay? I want to give a shout out to those who always share my videos. Denise George, Kosi Cloud, Diane Rozier, Marie Brown have shared, Brother Cooper, Antoine Watts, Treyon Brown, thank you Treyon, has been sharing as well. See of your Fleming have shared. So I want to thank you guys very, very much for stopping in. And um, those of you who came in late, just like Denise George just said, um, she'll watch the video again. I want to say a big shout out to Big Tony from Trouble Funk, who just joined us. Uh, Trouble Funk, known as the Ambassadors of Go Go. The Ambassadors of Go Go. So listen. Make sure you guys get in touch with Trouble Funk, Big Tony. He's right here, Big Tony Fisher, so that he can uh, get you guys some CDs or something. Tony, Big Tony, man, I need some CDs down here in Florida, brother. I'm getting homesick with GoGo, -Go, man. You got to send me. You got to hook me up. Hook a brother up, Big Tony. And I'll let you know when I'm in town, man. You got to get me on stage with you. Shake a tamarind. I, I mean, come on. I got some skills, brother. I play with Air Raid. I play with Tidy and them, so... I'll let you, let you check out my skills in a minute. I don't need to get paid. I just want to get up there and party with you. Good to see Maji Maji. You're very welcome, Denise George. So, folks, listen. I want you to do me one last huge favor. And that is to sing like no one can hear you. Dance like no one can see you. Love like you've never been hurt. And live like it's heaven on earth. I'm Jay Lee. I love you and the world need you. So stop that damn texting and driving. Peace and blessings. Have a great day.
Hey, Maria Scott, you late? Watch the video again, Maria Scott, and share it, please. Maji Maji, share the video. Thank you, guys. See you soon.